Today's video is brought to you by The Ridge Wallet. More about them later in the video. Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new series where I go on and do old school RuneScape bosses in three different setups. Now, the very first setup is going to be the most minimalistic gear. I would still recommend you to do the certain boss with. Then we're going to follow that up with a medium tier setup, which is going to have just slight upgrades from the most basic setup. And then lastly, we are going to do bosses with absolutely max tier setup. All of the kills are going to be done on my maxed account and the goal of the series is to have fun, compare the bosses and hopefully get some pets. Now, in order to keep this series interesting, I'm actually not going to keep any money to myself. In fact, I'll give 100% of the money that I make out to my community. Now, 50% is going to go to the people that are subscribed on both of my YouTube channels. And then the other 50% is going to go to my Discord community. All you have to do to join the Discord giveaway is to just write a message in a dedicated Discord server and we'll be picking the winners before the next episode is released. For our very first boss, we are tackling the Vorkath, arguably one of the most popular bosses in the game. It is an absolute money printing machine, but it also has its requirements in order to go ahead and kill this boss. Now, firstly, Dragon Slayer 2, 200 quest points requirement, quite a bit of an obstacle for a lot of people. Now, if you do have that, you most likely also have Void and you also most likely have the Salve Amulet EI. So we are going to incorporate those items into the gear setups. I will be killing Vorkath for 3 hours with every single setup, that way I give myself an ability to improve from one hour to another. I'll be telling you exactly how many kills I get in an hour, exactly how much money I make, but also how much the supplies actually cost me. So at the end of the video you will have a clear representation as to what every single setup offers at a boss like Vorkath. That being said, if you want to see me do a specific boss, do let me know in the comments, I will heavily consider it. Now, let's jump in the video. When it comes to supplies, for every trip we will be using a Bastion Divine Potion, alongside that extended super anti-fire, anti-venom, two prayer potions and of course a rune pouch. And inside the rune pouch we will have the runes to cast Crumble the Undead and that is obviously to defeat that part of the boss mechanic. Uh, very simple, we'll just cast this on a little vorky looking blue thing and that is all there is to it. I think it is time for me to start the very first hour on our very budget setup. There were slight adaptations that I did. I added the Ring of Dueling and I changed my construction cape with a Fremenic Sea Boots 4. That way I will return to the boss the quickest way possible basically. If you don't have this you can redirect your house portals to Releka. It is just like a 5 second longer run. With that being said, after this kill I will tell you exactly how many supplies I used per kill. And I will actually track that with this cool little feature called supply trackers. Here we'll see all of the supplies we actually use during a kill. So I'll talk to you when I finish it. I should be able to comfortably do this. I am 99 range, I'm on a maxed account. I should be able to just blaze through this pretty much. There are only three attacks you really gotta be careful with when you're doing Vorkath and that is the deadly dragon fire attack which basically one hits you, you just gotta move away from it. You got an acid pull where you can kinda just walk around or you can do a thing called wooks walking. In this video we're just gonna walk around, it's way more chill. And then you also have a zombified ice dragon attack, for that you need to cast the crumble of the undead on a little Vorky. And those are the three special attacks, aside from that you just play range and you bolt down the dragon. And there we have it, the very first kill took us exactly 3 minutes to complete. I did start at about 4 minutes here, so we are gonna end it when we have 1 hour and 4 minutes on this little timer down below. And I should be able to pretty much comfortably kill, I'd say, um, honestly, more than 2 to 3 per trip, I'd say. Now, the cool thing I wanted to quickly show before we don't waste any more time is this. The supplies used per kill, as you can see, 17k used per kill. And then if you check out here in the bottom, we gained almost 100k from that kill. So we pretty much tripled our bank already. So that is amazing. Let's keep going. Yeah, I don't think I can do this kill. Okay, so I tried to squeeze in an extra kill right here in the end. I clearly wasn't able to. I was on 14 HP. The Vorkas was at around 100. But in the very first hour, I managed to kill 14 Vorkath. And uh, by simply looking at our tracker over here, we can see that we made 1.5 million in our very first hour with the most budget possible setup. And I think that is very, very good. I mean, our bank 
if we only had what we had at the start and then getting 1.5 million just like that, that would be insane. However, that is not an actual profit because if we take a look at the supplies cost you will see that we actually used 325k in just potions in just stuff that we used and as you can see for one hour approximately 80 rubies 66 diamond bolts were used and two dueling ring chargers i ended up taking my construction cape for the second part of it just because it felt a bit better it felt like i could regenerate my hp on the actual pool faster so by subtracting 325k from the original 1.5 mil that we made, so 1.2 million straight up profit in the very first hour in the most basic setup possible. I'd say that's a success, let's keep going. Okay, it is time for me to go with our number 2, so if I quickly hop the timer should be at 0, and let's see if we can improve uh, on our first hour, which was 14 kills I believe. So let's just go right into it, let's not waste any of the time, and let's see if we can get some cool drops. Okay, do I go for, yeah I can go for another one I'd say. Oh, there we go, the very first Vorkath head coming in in... I guess 24th KC of the series, right? So very nice, very nice, happy with this one. We'll see how many we get in total though. Uh, but yeah, there's the first like drop worth mentioning, I'd say. Thank you, Feller. Okay, we can definitely do one more. We have five minutes left on the clock. And we've already exceeded our previous trip, so that's very good. Let's do one more kill though, we can do it. There it is. And that will be the second hour completed. As you can see, we have one minute to spare, but we can't kill another one in less than a minute. So, this hour was a little bit better than our first hour. I'll quickly show you the loot on my um, rune light. So, if we take a look, we actually killed 16 at this time around instead of 14. So, two kills extra this trip. The reason for that was mainly because in some situations, I was able to do three kill trips instead of two kill trips. Uh, and when it comes to supplies cost, we ended up spending 293k in this hour in just supplies, food, potions, runes, ammo. You can see it all here on the screen. Very nice. I really like this little addition to rune light. Um, but yeah, very good profit this time around. Uh, over 2 million in this hour alone. Very nice. I'm ready, it is time for us to go into the third and final hour with the very budget setup, so I am looking to beat 16 kills this time around, let's see if we can do it, um, but yeah, I'm excited to actually move on to a better gear setup, this is pretty slow, the kills take like 3, hour uh, three hours, 3 minutes at least, uh, so like the fastest kill I've gotten was like 2 minutes, and then the longest was probably like longer than 4 minutes even I'd say, uh, but yeah, last hour, let's get it, and uh, hopefully we get some good drops. Oh, that's nice timing to kill it. Very cool. That was a two-minute kill. That was actually the fastest I've killed it with this setup. That was 1.5-minute kill. That's literally the fastest. Okay, surely I don't die, right? Monka, dude, just hit, bro. Oh, no. Woo! Wurf! Did I just... I just regen that HP. <laughs> no way. Perfect execution, boys. A calculation to its finest. Oh my god, look at the rune longswords. <laughs> Hello? Alright, here we go. A few extra hits and we should be done. I'm not repotting here, I'm being greedy. I'm saving whatever money I can save. And that should be it, right? 24, there it is. Let's just make sure we kill this so it doesn't kill me. I don't know if that can even kill me. Uh, but there we go, we are done with another hour. This was the third and last hour of the completely budget setup and once again in this hour we ended up getting 16 kills and 2.16 million so a little bit worse than our second hour but still very very good and if we take a look at the supplies cost this time around 300k paid in the supplies so that makes uh, us gain about 1.7 million from uh, this hour alone so that is once again very good and i'm so excited to move on to a medium tier setup in this beautiful graphic you are able to see everything that pretty much happened up until this point but with the 100k gear setup we ended up getting 46kc in three hours and we made 5.05 million so that is all the loot minus all the supplies and then we get the actual profit that we made so making 5 million in just 3 hours from 100k setup, that is quite impressive. That being said, time to go on and see how the medium tier setup feels.
Let's talk about our medium tier setup. Now we improved a couple of things. Firstly, we improved the dragon crossbow over a rune crossbow. We improved our bolts from diamond tipped adamant bolts and ruby tipped adamant bolts. We are now moving on to dragon bolts. That's why we use dragon crossbow. It's gonna increase our kill speed by a lot. And we also improved our ring compared to no ring or dueling ring, which is a ring that gives no stats. We are now using an archer's ring, which should give us plus eight in range, meaning that it's gonna be very, very useful. And we're also moving on from snakeskin boots onto Gothic's Dehyde boots. Those are the cheapest of the Dehyde boots at the moment of recording this video. They're around 500k, they give us a bit of prayer bonus and also a little bit of a range bonus over the snakeskin boots. Now the big upgrades here are obviously the crossbow and the archer's ring. And this is our medium tier setup coming at about 5.5 million gold pieces. With that being said, let's start our three our challenge and see how much money and how much net profit we can make in those three hours. All right, and the plan is simple. The timer is right here on the bottom. And the idea is kill more than 16 of these in one, well, in one hour, basically. Because uh, with the lowest tier setup, our best was 16 kill hour. So it's time to upgrade that. It's time to hopefully get more than that. And let's see how it goes. Yeah, this is this is really nice. I actually really like this setup already as you can see three kill trips very very simple like no problem whatsoever I could probably be doing four kill trips if I like really wanted to but I like the fact of how relaxing and how chill the three kill uh, Trips are so I'm just gonna keep doing three kill, three kill trips uh, th This is actually a tongue twister for me, but hey, I really enjoy this. We are 20 minutes in let's keep going So many of the teams in the LCS. I'm no. fucking idiot. Uh, well, I died. I don't even know how this works. I just collect this and then... Okay, not discard. Let's unlock everything. We need to pay 100k. Well, to be honest, right? Uh, eh, it's not that big of a deal. We lose a little bit of time. We lo probably lose like one kill worth of time. Uh, but I don't think it's that bad. Uh, it is what it is, you know? Sometimes it goes, sometimes you die. That's fine, you know? Nobody will ever do this and never die. I'm okay with that. Um, we're probably gonna see a bit of a difference between this hour and the next two hours if I don't die there. But you know what? That's fine. Alright, I think I lost like five minutes in that death. In that time, I could probably get one, maybe even two extra kills, including the one I was currently doing. So that's, you know, worth to keep in mind. But, yep, let's just keep going, I guess. And here we go, we have about 20 seconds left on the clock, unfortunately I am unable to kill another one in those 20 seconds, so we're calling the first hour here. We have broken the record of 16 with the budget setup, so we've killed 17 in this first hour. Now we did also die and the kill was at about the end, so I think that getting like 19 kills is actually doable, 18 kills definitely doable, but for this very first hour with a medium budget setup, we got 17 kills, which is not too bad. We made 2 million in profit, obviously minus 100k for the death. Um, and we also spent 517k on supplies. So a lot more actually spent on the supplies. Apparently I also got the Vorkath head that I don't think I picked up. Oh no, that's deaths. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, here we go. That's why the supplies are a bit more. 517k because of the death. 417k if it wasn't for the death. Also, you can see these runes now counting as supplies cost because we're also arced. As you can see, I got eight alkable drops. So very interesting to see. We used about 74 of each bolt. Uh, that, and that's pretty expensive, actually. Look, that's pretty expensive. 140k just for the bolts. With the rune crossbow, the bolts are very, very cheap. So that's definitely something to keep in consideration. We also got an elite clue scroll that I'll probably do um, off recording and uh, yeah, very nice first hour Hopefully uh, in the next two I don't actually end up dying It is time to go ahead with our number two of our medium tier setup and this time the goal is simple Let's not die. Uh, dying kind of slowed me down earlier. Also, I want to get more than 17 kills Let's see if I can make it happen. Here we go. We've done a very first four kill trip now I could have probably went for more. I have a couple of food on the ground here now I'm not gonna pick all of this up 1700 per blue, blue dehyde that's fine we're gonna leave those on the floor we have about 14 minutes left and it's looking quite quite nice now i did expect to get a couple more kills per hour with this setup but one thing is for sure it is very very relaxing and i'm a big fan of the relaxing aspect of it so let's just keep going 14 minutes left let's see if we can get any cool drops okay and here we go just 20 seconds over an hour to be honest that's 
perfectly fine. I decided to finish off the kill because why not? And this was the best hour so far. We ended up getting 18 kills. No deaths this time around, luckily. Over 2.2 million made. However, let's check the supplies cost. And as you can see, 394k in the supplies cost. So, um, you know, just under 2 million hour. Not bad for the setup at all. Very happy with this hour. We have one more to go for. And then we go on with an absolutely max setup. I'm really excited. That was a solid 18 kill hour. Nice. All right, here we go. We are about to start the last hour, the third hour with our medium tier setup. So let's just go right into it. Let's not waste any time. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to finish this hour and then start on with an absolute max setup. Really excited. Let's see how much money and how many kills we can get in this hour. And there it is, 59 minutes in and we have killed our 90th Vorkef. Now, I know for a fact I cannot kill it in one minute, so this is where we close this hour. So this is the final hour of the medium tier setup and it's been a very successful one, I'd say. So I'll quickly show you all the profits and everything right after I loot all of that because there is a lot of rune... Wait, did I just get... I got five rune kite shield drop in this skill. So that's why we bring the Alk. It doesn't often happen, but when it does, it's nice to have, right? So there it is. Alk one more and money. Perfect. Right, so boom, boom, boom. In this hour, we made... Well, we killed 19 Vorkath and we made 2.24 million out of that. As you can see, nothing special from the loot, just basic Alkables, basic Vorkath kills. Uh, the only worth thing mentioning, I guess, the Dragon Plate Skirt, maybe. But the supply cost this time around, 398k. Let's round it up to 400k in supplies. So we made basically exactly... 1.8 million profit straight up this hour of medium tier setup on Vorkath. Now I'm very excited because I can move on to absolutely max gear and that's gonna be so fun to do this with. Comparing the medium tier setup to the very budget tier setup, uh, there are a few things that come to mind. Firstly, the kills feel faster. We ended up killing 7 kills more in 3 hours. And we only made 0.2 million more in an entire hour when it comes to straight net profit. However, if you have the money to invest into that extra dragon crossbow, I really think it's worth it. It just feels nicer. You get... 3 kill trips instead of 2 kill trips, so it's definitely worth considering, but definitely at the same time not needed at all. Now I am excited to compare both of these to an absolutely max tier setup however, because that is where the difference should be seen. Before we continue on with the most exciting part of the video, I want to tell you more about the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is a slim and lightweight wallet that isn't bulky like an old fashioned wallet. It is designed to easily fit in your front pocket and it can hold up to 12 cards and also cash. There are over 30 colors and styles to choose from. My favorite ones are the Carbon Fiber and also Burnt Titanium. The wallets are also very safe as they have integrated RFID blocking to protect you from digital pickpockets. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s, carrying around old receipts and unnecessary mass. And here you can see the comparison between the Ridge Wallet and my old wallet. And as you can see, my old wallet is very bulky bulky and I can probably fit most of the things into the Ridge wallet that I had in my old wallet. The Ridge team is 100% confident that you will enjoy it. They will even give you a test drive for 45 days so if you do not love it you can send it back and you will get a full refund. And on top of that they also have a lifetime warranty. So if that sounds interesting to you get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash Mika, that is ridge.com slash Mika and use the code Mika. Thank you once again Ridge for supporting the channel. Alright then, and the moment we have all been waiting for, the maximum tier setup, 150 million is what this costs at the moment of recording this video. And this is gonna be fun, this is gonna be a fun little challenge to compare with the other two setups. And this is going to be my inventory going into it, and I think I'm not really gonna be changing much about it. I'm excited, let's start with our first hour and see how it goes. All right, we are logging in. The timer is right here on the bottom. Let's begin with the first hour of the maximum setup on a Vorgaf. I'm pretty excited to see how it goes. Let's see if we can break the record from the previous hour. 
or from the previous setups and yeah let's see how it goes okay now this is amazing this is so much better than both of the other setups now i do have to leave a couple of blue dehydes on the floor every trip because i don't have the inventory slot to fill everything in and the kills are so fast so simple so we're gonna adapt our inventory just a little bit we're gonna grab just i could grab just one prayer potion probably but i'm gonna go ahead and grab two so i can you know afk it a bit more um, but yeah this is amazing it's so much more chill so much more relaxing so we're gonna go like that and like that and that's it also probably should bang that and that should be more or less perfect honestly and yep let's keep going okay we're going for it 85 minutes and 40 seconds into an hour and we've killed 25 but i think i can push it for one more i'll have to flick it i only have two food if it doesn't work it is what it is but i'm going for it i don't care all right give me a hit here and we're good all right, well, we did go 23 seconds over an hour, but I think it's worth it, right? And this was so much better than everything else. I absolutely enjoyed this. Uh, we did leave quite a lot of blue dehydes on the floor. If we quickly look at some statistics, we made over 3.2 million in this hour alone. 26 kills this time around, very solid. But when it comes to supplies, we did end up using 377k in supplies. And that makes it, so we basically made 2.9 million straight up profit in this hour. It was amazing. No Vorkath ads this time around, but we have two more hours to go through. And yeah, this is so much better. Like if you have options to, to do Vorkath with this setup, absolutely go ahead and do it. It is 10 times better than anything else. Slight adjustment before we go on with the next hour. I decided to put dust runes into my pouch just so I can teleport a house rather than having one inventory space there for the construction cape. Alright, going in for the second hour. Let's see if we can beat the 26 KC record that we just did. That has been pretty damn nice. Let's see uh, what we end up doing here. One more kill with one angler fish. I think I can do it. Another hour down, this time we cheated for 30 seconds, unbelievable. Um, and once again, I have to leave some stuff behind because I cannot loot everything. Uh, but what an amazing hour, once again. Um, very, very solid, actually. I can just drop these coins, I guess. Um, here it is, another 26 skill trip, didn't improve on anything. Basically, they did about the same speed, everything seemed to be just about the same. 3.1 mil profit this time around, supplies cost 380k, meaning that this time around we made, what, 2.8, 2.7 million straight up profit, very nice, very nice. And uh, with that out of the way, let's see if we can break 26 kills in the very next hour. Alright, here we go. I'm ready for the third and last hour of the max setup. This will be hour number 9 in total. And, well, I guess I'm shooting for probably 26 kills again. Uh, I hopefully can get maybe 27, but I don't think it's possible. I think 26 is going to be the limit with this setup per hour. Um, but yeah, let's begin and let's see if we can maybe change that. We're not chilling, we're not chilling, I repeat, we're not chilling. Oh! <laughs> Fuck, I just wasted... <laughs> no, man, I just wasted, like... Oh, it's a disaster. We were not chilling. It's a disaster. I guess we just... We're probably gonna have one kill less now because of that. No, man. Alright, here we go. As you can see down here, one hour is up. And that was the last Warcath I am going to kill for a while. Uh, now, this hour, I did do a couple of mistakes, a couple of small ones that uh, basically made it so I only did 24 instead of 26 workouts. So, the first hour with the max setup, 26, second hour, 26... And now the third hour, 24 Vorkath killed, 2.3 million made, the supply cost this time around 380k, about the same, about similar like other two times, and that makes it, so it basically made around 2 million in this hour. Alright, very quick conclusion of what I think about the setups. Now, the very basic 100k setup feels, well, very slow. I've had a bunch of five minute kills even and it's it's very like rough to do it with when it comes to 5.5 million setup it was quite nice the upgrade of the bolts you can definitely feel it and then when you jump to max setup it's actually really really good it feels amazing the kills are about one to two minutes long it just feels very very nice now if you don't have the money for a completely max setup the first thing i would upgrade is upgrade your crossbow get it get 
get at least the dragon one but if you can a dragon hunter crossbow here is amazing on top of that after that i guess pagation boots are very expensive like you can kind of go away with just using a blessed dehyde boots they're about 500k a piece and then archer's ring is very very crucial as well i would probably upgrade the dragonfire ward lastly because i don't think it's that important uh, but yeah that's my few opinions on it but all in all this was pretty enjoyable i didn't mind it at all that was fun here we can see how good 150 mil setup actually is. I mean, from going from 14 kills an hour on the budget setup to 26 kill an hour on a high tier setup, that is an increase of 12 kills in an hour. That's almost doubling what a complete budget setup can give you. So definitely, if you do have the money, investing into this gear setup is going to be crucial. Because as you can see, even the profit is... In total 3 hours we made 2.5 million more than with a budget setup and that that's quite a lot of money you know that's that's basically almost another million in every single hour from just having better gear. Rich get richer SMH 76 kills were done in 3 hours quite impressive I'd say not bad at all. So now let's go ahead and compare all the 3 hours with each other. Here you can basically see the results of everything in this video. So you don't need to go back and see exactly how much KC we got here and how much KC we got there. Here you can see the budget setup, 46 kill count, medium tier setup, 53 kill count, an increase of 7. And then maximum tier, 150 million setup, 76 KC. The increase from a medium tier setup and the high tier setup is massive like it's actually the change is so huge and i think the biggest thing is the crossbow if you can get the dragon hunter crossbow that's gonna help you with the kill speed significantly when we are comparing just the money you can see that the low tier budget and the medium tier budget basically had about the same profit per hour but that doesn't mean that the medium tier setup is not worth going for because you are getting those extra 7 kills per 3 hours, meaning that in the grand scheme of things, you might be landing on those rare big drops more often because you are killing Vorkath more with a higher tier setup, if that makes sense. So in conclusion, absolutely go ahead, upgrade all your gear pieces that you can. A big one is archering. You're gonna be needing archering everywhere, basically. Everywhere you go, archering is gonna be crucial. Imbue it once and have it for the rest of your old school career. And then after that, immediately crossbow upgrades are be gonna be your best friend. And then after that, you can think about pegations. You can think about that shield upgrade as well. But all in all, archer's ring priority after that crossbow and everything else whenever you have the money for it. A very quick reminder, especially if you made it this far into the video, I am giving away all the profits I made in this episode and in the future episodes away to my communities. Once again, half of it goes to my Discord, so that's about 9 million, that's about 3 bonds. That's gonna be given to my Discord community, everything is in the description, you check the Discord, you go into the giveaway channel, you write something in it, you got a chance to win yourself 3 bonds, I mean what's there not to like about that? And the second 9 million will be giving away to someone who is subscribed to both of my channels i would highly recommend you guys if you enjoy my old school stuff you will enjoy my second channel i post stream highlights there currently i'm streaming a lot of league of legends but in the future it can literally be anything because this channel is only old school but my second channel is everything and every little support that i could get on a second channel i would really really appreciate it so if you do enjoy my stuff please check out the second channel as well that being said i appreciate you all for watching this video Thanks once again Ridge, they're very cool, they sponsored it and I'll talk to all of you guys in my next video, hopefully very very soon. Have a good one and bye bye.